Alright, so I took you guys in a little closer to see some of these colors. Um, yeah, I actually like them. It's a really green palette. So if green is not for you, this palette is not for you. <laughs> so the first shade I'm going to go in with is this one right here. This orange, it's called Aroma. And I'm going to blend that in just above here. Well, the, the concealer I used to, um, to do this base is the Colourpop Concealer in Fair 00. zero. All right, so the next shade I'm gonna go in with is this one called Ashanti, and it's a brown. Yeah, it's right below where I applied the aroma. Now this video is way past you, like way past you. I did a video the other day with using the palette, did the look and everything, and I actually didn't like it, like. And then worse, I couldn't get pictures from it. I was just like, you know, this isn't gonna work today. No, <laughs> I was, I was just not in the mood. So I tuned up, left it alone, and here I am today again. But yeah, I did use this palette before, and I actually really do like it. Alright, so now I'm going to go in with the shade called this one here, this dark green, it's called the Sun. It's a really pretty green, it's like a really nice forest green. You see this little green tint or hue on it? It's interesting. It's very interesting. Alright, so I went ahead and cut the crease. If it is that it looks wonky, such is life. <laughs> I cut the crease with the same concealer I used as base before, and now I'm gonna go in with this shade here, and that is called Tootsie. And then I'm going to go in with this beautiful color. It's like a yellowish green color and I'm going to put it on the inside. I'm going to be using the same brush which I kind of wiped off but I'm going to be using it or flipping it on the other side. Alright, so this is giving me Jamaican color vibes, like Jamaican flag vibes, <laughs> but it is a green palette. And this yellow actually has like a green tint in it. It works with the green, but it also comes off as really yellow as well, so it's gonna give you that vibe. So I'm gonna go back in with the dark green, the sand, and the... Alright, so I decided to spruce it up a little bit and I'm gonna go in with this glitter from Sasha Cosmetics. It doesn't have a name, does it? Pure Rainbow, yeah. And this is what it looks like. Let me see if I can show you. Right, let me show you from the side. Can't see it? Yeah, it's like it's white but it has some little green flecks in it. So that's what I'm gonna use. Now the base I'm going to be using to apply this is from BH Cosmetics. This is the this is called their base booster. 
and this is for glitter and shadow this is their glitter and shadow glue now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this glitter right in the front area here just to kind of bring up this yellow a little more then I'm gonna go in with the same brush but it's the other end it's as a wave uh, Petite Lux Petite Crease Brush 231, 231. I'm using this to apply because I don't want the glitter to be all over the lid, you know what I mean? Or too saturated in one section. So I'm gonna use this because of the, the fluff of it. I can actually, well, control. Based on what I did the last time when I was testing it, I controlled the glitter with it. So all I did was tap it on. All right, so let me see if I can come in. You're still not gonna see it. I'm sad. Now the liner that I used is from Suva Beauty. I don't know if you've ever heard of them. This is the liner. It's a Hydra FX liner. I think it actually glows in the dark. Now this one is called, yeah, it's a UV one. So it's, this one is called Dance Party. This is their yellow and I love it. I've been watching them for a while and I finally got the opportunity to buy these. I actually bought three of them. I have this one, Dance Party tracksuit and another one. I think it's, yes, it's actually bright green, but a morally green. You know? Now this liner, how it is that it's activated is you add water and you use the little liner brush. I bought their liner brush because I didn't actually have any brush that tiny and I used it with this. This is the brush. It's really, really fine. So I used that along with this. This is what it looks like when it's, yeah, because I've actually used it. So it dries down, you cover it up and that's until the next use. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my base and I'll be right back because there's nothing new for base today. <laughs> so I'll do that and I'll be right back. All right, hey guys, I am back. And I have my foundation on and everything. It's so chocolatey looking and pretty. Yeah, for those who don't know, you know, the new ones, I do not, I actually do like to wear my foundations a smidge darker than my complexion because I don't contour. I really don't. I will bronze, as you may have seen in other videos. If it is that, that's how you got to my channel. Hey. But I will bronze or warm up and such, but I don't contour. Anyway, so I went ahead and applied some concealer right at the waterline or yeah my lower lash line and I'm gonna go in with um I'm gonna go in with this on the outsides and then I'll use chaga on the inside you know to kind of brighten it back up a little bit So now I'm going to go in with the brush I used to apply the green and the yellow green at the top and I'm going to be using that to apply the, hmm, I'm going to go ahead and apply both of these, the chaga and this. I'm going to use a little of this right along right here and then I'm going to use this one on the inner corner. This one is called Koro. It's actually, don't focus on me, yes you may be able to see it you may not be able to it has actually has some little green flecks in it. it's really really pretty so i'm going to use i'm going to go ahead with both of them So I'm going to go in with this color here, the same Ashanti that I used before. I'm going to try to clean up this under area, but I'm going to I'm going to dip it in Ashanti and I'm going to tap it on that green just a little bit to kind of see if I can put some structure again <laughs> back to this green on the outer corner. But yeah, this is pretty. You guys would honestly believe that I've never used this palette before. But I mean, the colors are really, really pretty. And I'm excited about this look, you know? 
Now for highlighter, I've had this for maybe about two, three weeks, maybe two weeks now, two going on to three weeks. I haven't spoken about it yet because I was really waiting on the tribe to come or to get here. Now this is one of Juvia's newest highlighters. This is the Heroin. Yes, and this is the, the Heroin Globe one. It's two of them. I actually have both of them. Oh. Here we go. Yes, <laughs> the heroine. Yeah, so this is glow one and this is glow two. Now the glow one is a gold one, like legit gold. It has a yellow, it kind of has like a yellow vibe to it. The glow two is kind of like, um, let me see if I can come in a little closer. It has like a pinky hue and it's really, really subtle, like a sexy kind of subtle. It's pretty. I actually really do like it. No, it's not chalky. It isn't. If I can find it, I will try to slip the clip that I had done here, right here along the side, of when I was actually testing it on um, on myself when I just got it. You don't know, you have to try out everything else. So. All right, so the brush I'm gonna be using to apply this is called the Luxie 660 Precision Foundation Brush, but Look at how soft this brush is. What kind of foundation you gonna use with this? No. All right, so I'm gonna be using it because of how fluffy it is. I do like these fluffy, more fluffy kind of brushes. I can't find my regular or my usual um, highlighter brush, but I like the fluffy ones. They come off a little bit better. All right, so I'm now gonna go in with the lippy. A color, I've used something similar, but this one just has a vibe and I actually really, really liked it. Now this one is from Crayon Case. <laughs> this is called Pablo. This color looks interesting and I'm actually excited to use it. I was wondering how in heaven's name I was gonna use it, but today is the day for this. Let's go. Yes, guys, now this is the final look. Yeah, I had to wipe this off and reapply it. I was having a slight problem. I think because the liner that I was trying to use was a little bit too dark. So I went ahead with um, NYX, one of the NYX liners, and it's in Coco. So I used that instead. It's a little bit closer to my complexion, and it doesn't make it look so stark dark. Um, it's still not perfect, but we gotta wrap this video up, right? Yes. So this is the final look, my final thoughts on this palette, on the Tribe. I like it, I really do like it. The colors are fabulous. The colors are pigmented. The only color that I know, maybe some persons may not like because it would maybe show up more on a lighter complexion, and that is this color here. If I were to use this as a transition, you wouldn't see it because it actually blends into my complexion. But apart from that, every other color is pretty awesome in my opinion i love it i really do like it these shimmers are pretty awesome the only one i didn't use in this palette today the only two was this one and this one here this is kuba and curla i didn't use these two but apart from that they are actually pretty pigmented as well i can show you this is the green kuba And this one is curl. Curl is a nice little addition to it in terms of the color. Um, it, it goes with this one, I would assume, but I guess depending on whatever color I try, um, whatever look I try next, we'll see how well they blend together. But apart from that, it's a green palette. And I really do like it. I like it a lot. I don't regret it, as per usual. 
don't regret my Juvia's palette. Now this lippy from Current Case, Pablo. It's kind of cool. <laughs> I'm gonna try wearing it again. I actually like it with the lino. I like this. I really do like this. I like this entire look. I was gonna go nude, but then when I tried it, it looked a little boring. Yeah, I wanted to go bright and bold, and I remembered that I just got this as well, and so I went in with it. And as such, this is the look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Hey, new subbies. I see y'all piling up and subbing and stuff. It's really cool. Thank you for sticking around. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If it is that you'd like to see more of this, if you have any other suggestions, please leave all the comments down below and let me know what you think. Thank you so much, guys, and I'll see you on the next video.